Since forever, we have been obsessed with keeping our youth intact. Men and women both have suffered damage over time and desperately searched for ways to escape or slow the process of aging. Nobody likes wrinkles, sagging skin, or gray hairs masking our youthful beauty. So, in biotechnology, scientists have become increasingly successful in developing techniques and drugs that can actually slow or stop the wheel of time and maintain youth. The cosmetic industry earns hefty profits from selling anti-aging creams, but do they even work? Well, the answer somewhat defies their claims, and there is yet work to be done and technologies to be developed to obtain eternal youth. Join us today as we will tell you about the biggest advances in longevity already under research and what we can expect in the coming years. Before that, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos in the future. How does aging really work? Aging is a gradual but continuous process of natural changes in the body that start in early adulthood. During early middle age, many bodily functions begin to descend from the prime. All the cells experience this change, and gradually they become larger and start to lose their ability to divide and multiply. There is an increase in pigment inside the cell, and many cells lose their function or start to function abnormally. To understand and presumably reverse the aging process, it is important that we study the early stages of human development or early pregnancy. The study will enable scientists to reduce birth abnormalities and even bring about genetic changes to prevent diseases in later life. But right now, it is difficult because of ethical issues that concern the extent to which pregnancy should be considered an experiment for research. Can aging be cured? Scientists are optimistic and suggest that the cure for aging is not only possible, but imminent too. Healthy lifestyle choices can add years to most people's lives and improve their quality. In the last years, scientists have shown that it is actually possible to reverse the process of aging partially. It remains a hot field of investment, and billionaire businessmen like Jeff Bezos, who has a lot of money to spare, are investing in anti-aging research. Bezos has invested in Altos Labs a mysterious new startup pursuing biological reprogramming to rejuvenate cells in the lab. Direct Gene Editing Gene editing is performed by directly changing or modifying the genetic material of an organism. It involves changing the DNA by adding, removing, and altering particular genes on the DNA strands. The well-known CRISPR-Off has been the buzz of scientific societies because it is faster, cheaper, and more efficient than other genome editing methods. But does CRISPR-Off works? First, the target DNA is identified, and when it is found, an enzyme produced by the CRISPR system binds to the DNA and cuts it, shutting the targeted gene off. In the case of prime editing, the gene is snipped off rather than cutting the DNA. It is a gene editing method that can perform targeted small insertions, deletions, and base swapping in a precise way. Twin prime editing is a new CRISPR-based gene editing strategy that enables the manipulation of gene-sized chunks of DNA in human cells without cutting the DNA double helix. Genome editing can be revolutionary in modern science and enable the suppression of required gene expression. But not everything can be performed without enticing issues. For example, many ethical concerns arise using technologies such as CRISPR-Cas9, which alter human genomes. Most of the changes introduced with genome editing are limited to somatic cells. These changes are isolated to only specific tissues and are not passed from one generation to the next. However, changes made to genes in egg or sperm cells or in embryos' genes could be passed to future generations. Germline cell and embryo genome editing bring up several ethical challenges, including whether it would be permissible to use this technology to enhance normal human traits, such as height or intelligence. Due to this fact, germline cell and embryo genome editing remain illegal in the United States and many other countries. 
These enhanced CRISPR technologies enable scientists to address previously untreatable genetic abnormalities. AI-powered brain implants. AI is shaking hands with neuroscience now and developing brain implants that sit silently in the brain tissue and record electrical signals to decode them. In time, those signals will be possible to control parts of the brain that control bodily functions and movements. Brain implants have given people with lower body paralysis the ability to walk again. For example, amputees can get robotic hands and can control them by just their thoughts. FDA has approved a brain pacemaker that sends impulses and stimulates the deep brain to target areas of the brain to relieve movement disorders in patients with Parkinson's disease and severe epilepsy. Elon Musk, a billionaire, is running a brain implant company called Neuralink, which researches and is taking initial steps towards conducting human trials for its brain implant device soon in the future. The device will enable us to control devices by just using our brains. Wonder what that time will look like. Anti-aging vaccines. Vaccines have saved humanity from numerous ailments, and we have successfully eradicated several life-threatening diseases, all thanks to vaccine development. Most recently, the COVID-19 situation has been brought relatively in control due to vaccine development and measures taken to stop its spread. Vaccines actually contain a weakened or inactive part of the particular organism as an antigen that triggers the body's immune response to the disease. But newer, advanced vaccines contain the blueprint for producing antigens rather than the antigen itself. A digital vaccine is a subcategory of digital therapeutics that nudge positive human behavior through neurocognitive training. mRNA vaccines use mRNA created in a laboratory to teach our cells how to make a protein or a fragment of it that triggers an immune response to an antigen. The Pfizer and Moderna COVID-19 vaccines were the first authorized mRNA vaccine. Now, companies have started to study mRNA vaccines for other uses too, like the development of HIV and respiratory syncytial virus, where previous vaccine development techniques haven't worked yet. Pfizer is also developing an mRNA vaccine for the treatment of sclerosis. In time, we might see a successful vaccine for cancer and antibiotic resistance as well. Longevity Gene Therapy According to the research done by the University of Wisconsin-Madison, a gene called GATA6 is responsible for regulating the aging of human mesenchymal stem cells. In China, scientists are developing a gene therapy that could potentially delay the process of aging or reverse its effects in mice and extend their lifespans. CRISPR can revolutionize gene therapy. Now, this year, the technique has been upgraded so that a gene can be edited within the body, which was previously only possible outside the body. AI is now being used to design drugs. During the recent COVID-19 pandemic, AI has successfully identified potential drugs that could be used to treat the ailment. Recently, AI-backed drug discovery company Insilico Medicine announced that it was dosing the first healthy volunteer in a micro-usage trial of a drug that is a small molecule inhibitor of a biological target. The interest in the development of an age reversal or anti-aging cure isn't going anywhere anytime soon. This extensively well-funded industry is only going to increase the tests and experiments for discovering the cure. But is it ever going to materialize? Only time will tell. What are your thoughts about humans wanting forever youth and companies spending millions and millions on their research? Do you think we will ever reach the answer to curing aging? Tell us in the comments section. Also, please like our video if you learned something from it. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching and see you next time.